All right, in this video, in the part of the WeSim version 21 training program here, I'm just going to show you how to do a quick nest and add a couple parts to a nest and walk through that process, kind of picking up where we left off with uh, creating MM2s in a previous video into taking those uh, MM2s and nesting them onto a sheet and creating code for them. So, uh, like I said, much like where we picked off left, where we picked off left off last time, uh, we'll click on the new button in nesting. And this is going to be training nest two. And we've already created our new PDB here. Okay. So the machine, of course, will be our plasma. And I'm going to do this on a 40 amp setup. Uh, my lead setup here, I'm going to leave it none because my MM2s that I've drawn already have leads on them. However, if they, if you were drawing parts, um, you could sort of skip the step where you put lead ins on them if you had nothing but plans to nest them. And nesting will automatically put your lead ins on there for you. So. Let's just scroll down through here and let me check a couple settings. Um, I do want to fill the sheet in the Y axis first, so we're going to fill it in the Y. Start at the sheet bottom with about a quarter of an inch in between our parts there. So that's what that web size is. Next, I'll go to my parts and first I'll add a single part. Um, we'll add this part first. And let's just say I want 10 of those. I'm going to leave my rotation at 4. And I'm going to go to my material. For my material, I'm going to select a 5x10 sheet. So we have our 5x10 sheet. Now if I click go to my result tab, go back. Just to double check, oh, I wanted 10 of those parts actually. And our sheet size is 120 by 60. I always like to go back and double check to make sure that I haven't uh, skipped over something. And then you would just say build current. Okay, as you can see here, it built our 10 parts there. And we would say OK. OK. So essentially from this point, we're ready to create the code for this file. So there's our part. You can scroll through here. I'd like to add another part to this nest. Just for example, we'll go ahead and add this one. And say OK. And for this one, I'm going to say I would like eight of those parts. And since it's a square part, I'm going to set my rotation to one. And then we'll say build current again. And here we are with our preview. Uh, turned out okay. We can window up. And you can see that it built our parts there. We got our lead ins on there. Everything's ready to go. So from here, all I would do is go to my results. And I would go to either my code viewer if I wanted to preview the CNC code first. Click on select code generator, say OK. Refresh. And you can step through the entire code to see how it's going to cut. I know for a fact that these are going to cut fine. And then I would just go back up to the top here to my export CNC code. 
and physically export the code to wherever I would like to save it, whether it be a, a network drive or a, a jump drive or wherever you would like to save it to be able to open that up on your control for your machine. So I'd say save. Okay, my code generation process has been completed, so we are finished here. And that is the entire, in a nutshell, walkthrough of nesting. Once you have your parts drawn, it's that simple. Just select your parts, plug in your quantity, select your material, click build, and export your CNC code. It's that fast. It's that simple. Uh, I hope this video helps some of you guys that are learning how to use the new stuff or just a quick refresher on how to use some of the old stuff. Um, also, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 256-737-3075. One of the guys will be happy to help you out. Or you can reach us at uh, our email, which is contact at whitlockeng.com. That's W-I-T-T-L-O-C-K-E-N-G.com. And all right. Um, over the next few weeks, we'll have a lot more videos going up on our channel here. And uh, we'll be emailing them out to everybody as well. So uh, keep your inbox open. And look forward to seeing what we're going to come up with over the next few weeks. Uh, thanks. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you guys and your emails. Thanks.